Hey there, it's Brittany Bun, and today we're gonna have some fun learning how to save that coin. I know this is probably the most boring video that could ever be recommended to you, but you're the one who clicked on it, so you must need this in some way, right? Yeah, that's right. I know you're broke. I know you want to spend money you don't have. There are so many things you want to buy right now, but that wallet of yours has been looking mighty thin lately. And you're waiting to get a paycheck at that job you keep calling into, and you're wondering, where is all of my money going? Trust me, I know it all. What's weird is that my last video was about the stream summer sale telling you to spend money, and now I'm like, well, you spent too much, and now look at you. Broke just like your father. So to make up for that, I'm gonna teach you how to save. Now I just wanna say that I'm not a professional, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just giving you advice on how I personally save for a big investment, which just so happens to be for my computer setup. You can use this guide for your setup, or maybe for something else like, I don't know, something general like a bug on how to save money. The first thing you have to ask yourself is, what's the purpose? Why are you getting a computer? What do you need it for? Are you using this for gaming? Are you using it for school? For both? For neither? Then why are you buying a computer, you goofy goober? The whole purpose is the most important step because how are you going to know what to buy if you don't know what you're going to use it for? You don't want to end up spending $12,000 on a graphics card if you're only going to be working on Google Docs. If it's for gaming, what kind of games are you going to play? Are you going to play light games like Stardew Valley or heavy games like Metro Exodus? Do you plan on editing on this computer or streaming or watching YouTube all day? I'm asking you a lot of questions, huh? Making you think? Well, good. That's why you need to do your research. You always need to do research for any big project or dream you want to complete. I even did research for this video. How do you do research? Well, ask Google how to do it. After researching that, do more research. By research, I mean looking into the thing you want to buy. For me personally, I read a few articles and watched other YouTubers to see if the information match, as in compatible parts or reliable specs. You can also watch their budget builds, view their honest opinions about their specs. If their video is sponsored, proceed with caution because there's a chance that they could be lying. Not always, but some people do be stretching the truth sometimes. Look at the reviews on Amazon too. If there are no reviews on it or even a star rating, don't bother buying it. You don't want to be their first victim. With the amount of research you do, you're going to have an idea of how much things are going to cost. So now you have to ask, how long are you willing to do this for? By this, I mean reaching your end goal. Most people can't just go out and buy a computer without getting financially punched in the gut, so you have to accept that it will take some time. After all, Rome wasn't built in a day. It was two days. For me, it took me about six months to get my setup together. Why did it take so long? Because I was lazy and hated going to work. So depending on the way you're built and your financial situation, you may reach your goal faster or slower than I did. Depending on if you want a pre-built or a custom PC, the time you will get it and how much it's gonna cost will vary. To my knowledge, it's cheaper to buy a pre-built than to Frankenstein your own computer. Buying pre-built is easier because it's all right there. You don't have to worry if the parts are compatible because it's made for being compatible. But for a custom computer, you have to hunt down all of the parts yourself and figure out which ones work with the other, which will take time. And with the low stock of graphic cards, it's gonna be pretty hard to build a custom PC. I know what you're thinking. Pretty bun, where am I gonna find a graphics card? Well, that's easy. You're not. I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, have you tried the black market? I've heard they got some pretty great deals there. I'm kidding. Like, don't do that. Finding parts is going to be hard, so you're going to need to take your time with it. Which is great because this is an expensive thing you're doing and you don't want to spend your money on the wrong thing just because you want to get this done faster. Trust me, I wish I could have gotten a better graphics card so I know that you need to take your time. Also, you need to consider just how fast you want this computer. If you want it in a week and you only get paid like $10 an hour and work 20 hours a week and you're trying to buy a $1,500 setup, uh, 
that's a little unreasonable. Are you determined enough to wait maybe a few months to complete your goal or a year? If you're not willing to wait a while, you may never get what you want. Now, how much are you willing to save or spend? When I was first looking at prices, I was surprised to discover that I couldn't get a custom PC with 32 gigs of RAM and a liquid cooling system for $5. I was absolutely shocked. So I had to compromise. I knew for the amount of gaming that I wanted to do and the aesthetics that I wanted, it was gonna cost at least $10, at least bro. In the end, I ended up spending about $1,200. And that's not including the monitor and the keyboard and the other stuff I got. So keep those things in mind too. Now that you have an idea of how much you need to save, it's time to figure out how to save. This is where it will be helpful if you have a job or some sort of consistent income. How much on average do you get paid at your job? How often? And are you reasonably able to get paid more? You also have to consider your other costs that don't concern your PC. Do you have bills to pay? Are you paying for school? Are you under a few subscription plans that you realize you don't actually need but still use because you keep forgetting to cancel them? Or you say you'll use them eventually to watch that one show when you could just, I don't know, find it somewhere online. Here is where you sort out your priorities. What's more important? Making sure you pay off the IRS before you get thrown in jail or save up to finally play Call of Duty? You know the answer. Wrong. Save up to play Call of Duty. Come on. I thought you had it. That's a joke, by the way. Pay your taxes, please. You don't want to be like Turnip Boy over here. You have all the time in the world to save up for a computer. You don't need it right now, but you know who needs your money? Your responsibilities. That's your priority. However, you can still save for your computer. Once you pay something off, put a little bit of money aside for your bill. It can be $2, $50, or $100. Just put aside something because those few extra bucks could make the difference in the end. And remember, when you put aside money for those responsibilities, make sure you're not using that extra money for your computer instead of a meal. Remember, priorities. To say for me personally, I averaged the amount of shifts that I worked, which was around two or three, to how much I would get paid if I worked my required schedule, which was six shifts. For my original schedule, I got paid around $180 a week, but if I worked the full week, I got paid around $330. Finally realizing that when I work more, I get paid more, I decided that I would work more hours at my job. I also decided to cancel the subscriptions I was under. At the time, I had both YouTube Premium and Spotify, and I don't really need Spotify if there's music on YouTube, you know? So I canceled the Spotify subscription. The whole idea was, if I didn't use the subscription at least five times a week, I would cancel it. Average out the amount you pay in subscriptions every month or how much you use to order Uber Eats. You're using all of that money to invest in something that probably doesn't even benefit you. At least, not in the long term. Just think about it this way. Those subscriptions are just handfuls of money that you could be using to reach your goal. I also cut back on impulsive spending. Sure, I would occasionally indulge myself on some trips to Canes or buying a few games in the Nintendo eShop. I mean, like, I wanted to stay sane, so it's nice to reward yourself every now and then. My next tip is to buy things whenever you can. What? I thought you just said this video is about saving. Yes, it is. Are you paying attention? You're not, are you? 10 points from Gryffindor. At this point, you might have a list of things you're looking for. Check those items and see if they're going on sale. Look at the new and used options. I wouldn't recommend getting used for certain items, but you do you, bro. I also recommend looking at Amazon and Newegg and comparing those prices frequently. Because even though it's one price in one place, the other place might be cheaper. Try using Honey, too. This video isn't sponsored by them. Wish it was. Could have been a great plug. Honey, hire me. Also, settling for something might be a good option. If there's a certain graphics card you want, you might have to look for a different one because those things be selling like hotcakes. When it comes to actually saving money, it's different for everyone. I'm not Isaac Newton. I don't know the law of motion to saving. I'm just a YouTuber 
not a renowned scientist. The only real advice I have is take care of business now so you can have fun for later. Which leads me to my final point. Drink water. Have you noticed that's always the last step for everything? <laughs> I mean, of course, like drink water, but the actual last step is don't push yourself. Of course, to a certain extent, you might have to push yourself just a little bit harder to get through your shifts, but overall, it's fine. You don't need the computer right this second. Maybe some people do, but for the majority, let's be honest, you think you need it, but really, you just want it really, really badly. Probably. Do not see this video as a sign to work 50 hours a week at a job that pays you like $7 an hour and gives you a 10 minute break for an 8 hour shift because that's legal. Try not to stress out about saving. Anyway, those are my tips on how to save for a PC or just things in general. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just a YouTuber that thinks they know a few stuff. It, this is just my personal advice on how I personally saved for my PC. And feel free to use these tips. Feel free to not even listen to me. But honestly, I'm just glad you clicked on the video. So honestly, thanks. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or any of the other videos that I'll be posting on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I don't know why I'm just saying. And if you would like, you are more than welcome to share this video or any of my videos with anyone you know. That includes your manager who most definitely needs to give you a raise, as well as Spotify Wrapped, who is very concerned that you listen to Taylor Swift's latest album over a hundred times. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. If you're thinking about buying a computer let me know in the comments we need to talk